dust yourself off <laughs> and try again. Is that what Leah said? Dust yourself off and try again. You could dust it off and try again and try again. Uh -huh. Okay. Welcome or welcome back, my saddle gang. I am home. I got a little juice with a little strawberry because it looks cute. Uh, the kids are in bed and I'm ready to chat. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. Our part two, what to expect at clinical. But this time we're gonna, we're gonna get into the nitty gritty, the little details, all the things that you really should know. So to begin, let me just say that all clinical sites are not at all the same. What I'll do to break it down and not get to be too all over the place is kind of just describe all four of my clinical sites and you can just kind of base it off of that, okay? So for those of you who don't know, I am vascular, which is ultrasound of the um, blood vessels, the veins and arteries, as well as cardiac, which is ultrasound of the heart. So I do both, cardio, vascular. Um, so we have two vascular rotations and two echo rotations. Three are at hospitals. And one is at an outpatient. Wait, let me see. <laughs> let me see. Oh, five. I have five. Four of them are at hospitals. One is outpatient. Anyway, before I get off on a tangent. So in the first location, um, that I go to, as described in my video before, I have to arrive there at uh, 7.45 to be there for the eight o'clock patient. Whether there's a patient or not, you're supposed to be there for the eight o'clock if there's an eight o'clock. Um, so we'll walk into a student room, um, which is also kind of like the storage room. There's wheelchairs in there, there's stock, you know, all the supplies and things. We sit down and set up. I often say good morning to the techs. You don't really have to, it's just something that I like to do. Um, because of the different rotations between DMS, which is Diagnostic Medical Sonography, they do like babies and abdomen, um, GYN. There's usually them there and then like a one cardiovascular student. So we'll go in, we all sit down and we kind of wait. When we see a tech walk by with their sheet of paper, that means they have a patient. So what we do is say, okay, who was here first, basically gets the first patient and we just rotate based on that. Um, sometimes they have a red folder, which means that it's a doctor's patient and you know that it's gonna be on the opposite side. But either way, you just follow the tech. There are going to be times where we're gonna say, do you have a study? And they're gonna be like, no, I'm just going to the bathroom, like relax. You're gonna feel kind of like stalkerish, but it's better to be on it than to sit there and miss the study, to be honest. Um, we also have things that we're required to do once we go in called competencies. So if you're starting clinical, which should be within a few days probably, uh, you already know what these are. These are scan exams. So if you have practiced a carotid, that means that once you go into clinical, you are to ask to do a carotid on an actual patient uh, with supervision, of course. So you'll be given a certain amount of competencies that you have to do, which are very nerve wracking, but um, I suggest you ask the tech prior to the exam. Don't go in and say, hey, can I you know, do this competency? Let them know, hey, I have a carotid competency. If you have one, can I do it? Depending on their schedule, they'll say yes or they, they'll say no. Take it with a grain of salt. If they say no, it's usually for a reason. Um, so that's basically <laughs> what it's like when you're doing competencies, they're watching you. Some techs are gonna crack the whip on you. They're gonna be like, what are you doing? Why are you moving? Don't touch this, don't touch that. And then there are gonna be some that are like, yeah, that's good. Good, keep going, good enough, keep going. And either way, it's beneficial. One kind of builds your confidence and one lets you know that you're not perfect yet. So just keep practicing. Don't break down, don't give up. Keep going in and keep scanning. Um, in my second location, we are sent to one room where we sit down 
in that room and kind of wait for the patient to come to us. So it's only one person in this rotation. Um, you can, or I would suggest getting up and stocking while there is no patient, get the gel, get the towels, get the, um, what are they called? Goodness, y'all, what are they called? I feel like I'm wearing one. Oh, a gown, get the gowns, the urinals, the bedpans, stock every room the best that you can without being in the way. Make sure that nobody's in the room when you're stocking though. Don't just like move the curtain while they're doing an exam just to put towels up. Not acceptable at all. Once you're in a room, you have to stay in the room. Once you're out of the room, you have to stay out of the room. So just wait for it to be empty. But regardless, I usually stock all of the rooms. Sometimes I'm waiting for an hour with no patient and sometimes right away there's a patient already waiting when I walk in. So I will greet the patient. I will, um, if they're conscious, I will say, uh, my name is Reese. I'm an ultrasound student. I'll be getting you set up, but I won't be doing your exam today. To just kind of let them know like, when they hear student, they get kind of like, ooh, like you're scanning my heart and you're a student. But once you say, I'm just getting you set up, but you know, your tech will be in just a moment. They get comfortable with you. You verify their name and their birthday. If you have their chart, you can get them set up with their leads or whatever your ultrasound um, protocol is. You can get them set up the best you can. The techs love when you have their gloves out, their towels out. You know, get to know who your tech is. You'll know what size gloves they wear and things like that where you'll be able to do that. Um, and in that case, you'll just have to ask to do your competency while the patient is in the room because you didn't get a chance. You didn't have the experience to just, you know, ask them before the exam, so. Sippy, sippy. Hmm, should have slid the strawberry around so that if I drink it won't be in my nose let's see nope still touched my nose Alrighty, let's just eat it then <laughs> mm, 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 mm. anyway all right don't mind me I'm sorry that is really good <laughs> um The next hospital I go to, we're sitting, it's basically like the other one. We're just sitting around waiting for our patient to come in. You try your best to look busy. <laughs> study if you can. Some of them find it disrespectful if you study. So just kind of get a feel for it. Ultrasound's not really black and white. You get it? Get it? <laughs> I should probably go to sleep. Okay. <laughs> There's strawberry in there. Okay. Um... What's another drastic one? Oh, my outpatient office. There is a student room, but a lot of the time they'll let you stay in the tech room with them. You can watch them do the report, which is something you don't see often. So if you can get in on report writing, get in on it. Just ask questions, whatever questions you can think of, ask them all. Try to understand what they're writing and what they're looking for when they're doing their report for the doctor because that's what's going to get sent to the cardiologist and if they don't like it they will uh ask you about it so you know it is what it is we're the eye of the doctor at the end of the day you know um and then the last hospital i go to is kind of far away but it's actually really one of my favorites because um they allow you to do the exam like without even asking you know you get nervous to ask can i do the exam or this or that and with them it's like once they see that you can do it once they almost just throw you in like oh well we got another leg that's on you see you later you know and i feel like that's where you get the most experience because they'll check behind you but they won't be like hawking you down the whole time if you know what i mean um some suggestion, suggestions, I'm sorry, that I would give to you all if you are starting clinical soon um, is to treat this clinical experience at every site like it is your longest interview. You're gonna hear that from me. You've probably already heard it from your, your instructors. If you have not, I'm telling you, treat it like your interview because afterwards you may get hired at a place you did a clinical, you know? Um, also, there are going to be times where it just seems like the tech does not want you to be around at all. They might not be the nicest, but 
you have to understand they still have a schedule to stay on and then we're just like asking questions and we want to scan and we're in you know sometimes it's just in the way and it just is what it is it's not our fault it's not their fault if you need to cry go to the bathroom and cry and come back and reset and do what you have to do um make sure you get all your competencies done ask to scan ask to comp because sometimes the tech is not going to fend for you when they're done scanning their job is done really so if they're done and you let them clean the patient up and they're you know they roll the patient out and you didn't get any scan time it's on you you have to take responsibility for it so before they even clean the patient up just hey can i back scan or even if you just reach over to the patient if they're out patient you know if you have a little extra time is it okay if i go ahead and scan you just practice a few images get down into the scanning i think i got maybe over a thousand minutes this semester and i was like get getting it in i was getting it in okay um stop when you can ask to scan all the time um take criticism well because we're gonna get it we're gonna get it in all forms take it all dust yourself off <laughs> and try again is that what leah said dust yourself off and try again you could dust it off and try again and try again uh -huh. okay can't do anything right anyway guys clinical is an experience there are going to be days where you feel like giving up. There are going to be days where you walk out of there and you're like, oh, honey, I could be a tech right now if I wanted to. Who who needs an exam? I got it. And then there are going to be some days where you come in and you're like, uh, did I learn anything ever? Do I know what I'm doing? Am I going to get a job? Probably not. It's very, even the techs say it. Even the techs say it where there's some days where they're like, what, what am I doing? <laughs> so, um, Anyway, you guys are going to do fantastic. Everything is going to be just fine. I still get nervous. Be the go-getter. Stand out in the crowd. Stock everything. <laughs> everything. Stock it. Um, clinical. It's just clinical. <laughs>